see a box. Mm, there's a box there? Mm -hmm. Describe that box for me. What does it look like? Does it have a color? It looks like it's a cardboard box with drawings on it. Mm -hmm. What kind of drawings are on there? I see a butterfly. Mm -hmm. Some lines that could be a drawing of wind. Mm -hmm. And it has a lid on it. It has a lid on it. Are you willing to look inside of that box with me and see what's there? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'd like for you to open up the lid of that box and tell me what's on the inside. What did you find in there? It's really dark. Mm -hmm. But I see a, a white light. Mm -hmm. It's really tiny. It's tiny. What do you imagine that white light is in there? It feels like hope. It feels like hope. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to climb into that box. And let's walk towards that light. And as you walk towards it, since you're so tiny, it's going to feel really big. And tell me what happens as you walk towards that light of hope. The darkness disappears. Mm -hmm. The darkness disappears. And I'm surrounded by the white light. Mm -hmm. But I see something purple. Let's take a look and see what that purple thing is. Focus on it. What is that purple thing? It's the butterfly. It's the butterfly. Mm hmm. It's just flying around me. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. So I'd like for you to connect with that butterfly. You know, butterflies are able to communicate telepathically. And I'd like for you to ask this butterfly, why was it in this very dark box? What was it doing in there? says I'm beautiful and it wants to make make me feel better. Mm. So is that why it was in a box inside your heart? It doesn't want to be in the box anymore. No, nah, it doesn't. So it's your choice. What do you want to do with this butterfly? I want to let it out the box. Very good. So tell me what happens when you let that butterfly out. It's big. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. The box is shrinking. Mm -hmm. The butterfly is there. The darkness is still around. Mm -hmm. Butterfly is getting bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. Can you get on top of that butterfly? Perhaps ride it? Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens when you get on top of that butterfly. Where do you go? Looks like in the air and I see some trees down below. Mm -hmm. What else do you see? I see clouds in the sky and apples on the tree. Mm -hmm. Apples on the tree. Mm -hmm. What else? It lands on the tree. Mm -hmm. Now I'd like for, for you to focus on yourself when you land on that tree, on that butterfly. What do you look like? I'm older. You're older. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing some things over. 
something silver. I have on silver boots. Mm -hmm. It looks like a space suit. Like a space suit. But the pants are short. Mm -hmm. I don't have a shirt on. And I have a helmet. Mm -hmm. The helmet is blue. Blue helmet, beautiful. Take a look at your face. Do you look the same as now, or do you look different? I look the same. Mm -hmm. So as you're in this uniform, this outfit, you'll be able to understand why you're wearing it. What is the reason you're wearing all of this? It's it's comfortable. What else? I want to go to outer space. You want to go to outer space. Very good. So you already know that if you're already equipped with this space suit, you're able to go to outer space. How is it that usually you've gone to outer space? What do you do to go there? Something takes me. Something takes you? Who's going to take you today? The butterfly. Beautiful. To allow yourself now to be taken by this butterfly. And describe your trip for me. What do you, what happens next? The butterfly is, looks like there's a silver lining around it. Mm, a silver lining around the butterfly? And there's this ball of white light mm -hmm. around us. And I see the moon. Beautiful. Are you attracted to the moon? Mm -hmm. So tell me what happens next. We get really close to it, but we don't go to it. Mm -hmm. Is there anything interesting on the moon to see? It's really pretty. I see, I see someone waving. Hmm. What do they look like? Um, they're a light blue color mm -hmm. with big ears mm -hmm. and a long tail and it's wearing a weird outfit. What kind of outfit do you see? Um, it's brown shorts with orange fur at the, the waistline. Orange fur. Mm -hmm. And looks like it's wearing two different types of shoes. Mm. Do you know this person on the moon? They seem very friendly, though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Connect telepathically. You can connect. What do they tell you? It says hello. It says hello. Mm -hmm. That it's been wanting to meet me. Mm. Um, it wants to watch my journey. Wants to watch your journey. Mm -hmm. Will you allow this being to watch your journey? Yeah. Very good. So let's see what happens next. Where do you go on this butterfly? Oh, it, com it comes with us. Mm-hmm. Um... 
I see a planet. A planet. It's like black and blue. Mm -hmm. And it has like white spots. It's really big. I sense that the black is like water. Mm -hmm. Water. And the blue is energy. Mm -hmm. How close are you to this planet? It's really close. To mm -hmm. it. Are you going towards this planet? Mm -hmm. Let's see what's there. It's huge. Mm. What happens? If we go into the the black water, but it's not water. It's different. Mm. It's not wet. No, it's mm. like I can breathe. Like I don't need mm -hmm. anything under. Mm -hmm. So you're right underneath this water. It feels misty. Feels misty. What's underneath there? I see the lights. Mm -hmm. It's a building that looks interesting. It looks like a skyscraper and it has some type of design at the top. And there's small buildings around it. Mm -hmm. Now are these buildings in the air? Or are they in the water? They look like they're in the water. Mm -hmm. How are you getting towards these buildings? How are you seeing this? I feel like I'm just floating. You're just floating. Mm -hmm. In this place, do you feel that you have a body? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does your body look like? in this place now. Does it look the same? Or has something changed? I'm not wearing the same outfit anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you wearing now? It's black and it's fitted but I could barely tell that it's there. Mm -hmm. So it seems like this outfit is almost like your skin? It feels like an extension, kind mm -hmm. of. Mm -hmm. An extension of your skin? Mm -hmm. And look at your, your body. What does your body look like? Is it the same body or has it changed? See a tail. See a tail. My ears got bigger. My ears got bigger. In what way? So that I can move around. Mm hmm And hear. And. can sense movement. You could sense movement with the ears? Mm hmm mm hmm Are these ears like rabbit ears? Or are they like dog ears? What do they look like? Are they floppy ears? They're floppy. Well, floppy. they're not floppy. They're firm, but they're... But they're big? Yeah. I can sense like sound waves. Mm hmm What does the rest of your face look like? I look like a monkey. Like a monkey. Mm hmm Well, my nose... It's kind of like a monkey. 
sticky, like my mouth and my nose area. Mm -hmm. But my eyes are bigger, so I can see better. Mm -hmm. But I kind of still look like myself. Very good. And you say you have a tail. What kind of a tail do you have? Is it like a fish tail or a monkey tail? It's like a monkey tail. Like a monkey tail. Mm -hmm. What else do you notice different? Look at your hands and your feet. My fingers are long. Mm -hmm. My feet. Sorry, long, but then I have a disposable thumb. Mm -hmm, very good. But it has a really long nail. A long nail. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine that nail is used for? I see myself land somewhere where I would need to bury the nail mm -hmm. to stabilize myself. Okay. So it's used as a tool to stab for stabilization? Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Now, do you live in one of these buildings? It feels like I'm visiting, but I've been here before. All right. So what I'd like for you to do is just close this scene and go to the place where you're visiting. See yourself there now. I'm inside the building and there's like people walking around. Mm -hmm. Do they look like you? No. What do they look like? I see one lady in particular. Mm -hmm. She's like a silverish with blues. Heels or something like metallic key, mm -hmm. and she looks at me, but she doesn't really pay me any attention. Mm -hmm. Is she walking or swimming? She's walking. She's walking. Does she have hair? This woman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Red. Red hair. Yeah, and it's long. Mm -hmm. And pulled back into a large. Is she wearing any any clothing? Is this the metallic clothing, or is it her skin that's metallic? -y? Her skin. Her skin. Does she have any clothing on? She's just wearing a black top and skirt. Mm hmm. Kind of feels like the black. Outfits are protective layers. Mm -hmm. That gives an extension of our body. Okay. And is the skirt short or long? Short. Short. Does this woman wear any shoes or is she working wearing barefooted? She has on black shoes. Okay, very good. Where do you imagine she's going to in this building? Feels like she's going to a meeting. Mm -hmm. Let's follow along and see what happens. There's a meeting with. Feels like the person who oversees everything that happens on this. Well, in this area of the planet. Mm -hmm. And people from other areas of the planet. And she's there to learn mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. But it feels like they were waiting on me mm -hmm. to get there. All right. Are you by yourself or is that other being with you still? By myself. Okay. So let's see what happens when you arrive. I'm 
I'm greeted and I'm giving a seat next to the person that's in charge mm -hmm. and everyone looks at me I'm introduced I'm there to help mm -hmm. with something mm -hmm. but no one knows who I am but the guy that's holding the meeting mm -hmm. How are you introduced? Are you given a name or Responsibility? Nothing is said. It's more like telepathic. Okay. So I'd like for you to just increase that channel of telepathy so that we could understand what this meeting is all about. Why are you there today? I heard it grow. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm there to help build, mm -hmm. build and grow What is it that you're going to help build and grow? Their society. Their society. Tell me more. I'm not really sure how they want me to grow. But I see green mm -hmm. plants. Green plants. They want me to grow plants mm -hmm. to take away some of the darkness. All right. So now that you understand that, Let's close that scene and we're going to now move ahead in that lifetime to see how it is that you accomplish that mission. I'm going to count from one to three, moving you forward. When I get to number three, let's see what happens. One, moving forward in time. Two, and three, be there now. I'm standing on a street mm -hmm. and I see tall buildings. It's kind of similar to here. Mm -hmm. There's there's plants growing up the buildings. Mm -hmm. It's like looks like a forest mixed with a city. Hmm. It's really pretty. Beautiful. Is this what you accomplished? Mm hmm Yes. Mm hmm I showed them how to live with plants. Mm hmm seem happy. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I feel happy. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. So let's close that scene. And I want you to move forward in that life to another important event. Something important in that lifetime. It either may be another event or the last day of your life. See yourself there now. Where are you? I see... I see a large explosion. A large explosion? <clears throat> mm hmm It looks like something hit the planet. And everything burned. What 
Where are you seeing this from? Are you on the planet or away from the planet? I was on it. Mm hmm. Um, it burned everything. Mm hmm. How does that make you feel? Sad. Mm hmm. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. So as spirit looking at that destruction, how has that lifetime affected the lifetime now of Levante? How is she being affected by that explosion? She doesn't want to build and then it be taken away or destroyed. Mm -hmm. So is she playing it safe? Yeah. She's not investing? She's taking small baby steps, mm -hmm. being very cautious. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason why she should be so cautious in this lifetime? Is the same good thing going to happen to her? No. Mm -hmm. She wants to make sure that she's prepared for anything. Mm -hmm. But you see, in that life, she was a success. She had the expertise. Yeah, she learned a lot. Mm -hmm. And she's going to use what she learned mm -hmm. in this life. Yes. But in this life, she wants to know what she should be doing. She seems blocked. She wants to be able to move forward, but doesn't know in what direction to move. Growing in nature makes her happy. Plants. Mm -hmm. But that's not anything that she has been doing now. She's on the road now. She's not even staying in one place where she can tend to plants. It seems like a contradiction, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is she running away? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what would be the best thing for her to do? She likes to be alone, but she likes being near people. Mm -hmm. So she seems to be fulfilling that with her driving. Yeah. She's on a very busy highway, but she's alone in her cab. Yeah. Yeah. So is that a way for her to protect herself? Is she using that truck as a shield to be able to move great distances but protect it from others? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She wants to be able to freely move mm -hmm. but also be able to reach people. Mm -hmm. And she needed a time, some time away. Mm -hmm. Is that what the driving is all about? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I know she doesn't want to drive for the rest of her life. No, she doesn't. Yeah. So, how can she connect more with people? She wants to be able to do that comfortably, where she doesn't feel so vulnerable. She should focus on what she's passionate about. Mm -hmm. Can you tell her what that is? She loves to grow things. Mm -hmm. She likes to see progress. So what kind of things should she grow? She wants... 
wants a garden. Mm -hmm. She wants a huge garden. Mm -hmm. She should focus on that. Okay. Now, when you have a garden, you have to tend to your garden. You have to make sure there's no weeds in the garden, that they have enough water, that you don't have any pests eating at your garden. How will she be able to do that, focus on her garden, and still drive and see the world? She wants to bring people together mm -hmm. by growing food and plants mm, very. and taking care of the earth. Okay. So is she really going to be doing the same thing that she did on that planet? Showing people how to grow? Yes, yeah, similar. Mm, similar. Does she need to uh, do any additional education or does she have all of this within her? The people that she needs mm -hmm. come to her. The people who come to her. And she will meet people that will inspire her mm. to seek the proper knowledge. Okay. So the knowledge will be coming to her through those people that are coming to her? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So where can she have this huge garden? Where would be a good place for it? In her city, but she doesn't want to be there. Ah, okay. So what's the importance of this city where she is right now? Why has she been drawn to this city? The energy there. The energy there. She likes how different people come there from all over. But she doesn't like being in one place. Mm -hmm. But the city, because so many people come from different places, she can learn a lot from them. So the people who are there are very diverse yes. in their knowledge and, okay, good. So how can she now move forward with this? Because you say her passion is growing things. How can she now move towards it? Does she have a garden now, or does she need to purchase some land? She needs a place. She needs a place. How can she be helped with this? If she looks... Mm-hmm. Someone will show her a place. Mm -hmm. There's a place that's for her. She doesn't know where it is. Mm -hmm. Someone will show her where it is. Okay. So she just needs to put that desire out to have this place and someone will come to her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this how she creates this magic in her world? Yes. Okay. What is it exactly that she's doing? This manifestation progress. She focuses on how she wants to feel. Mm -hmm. And we do the rest. Good. So it's all based on feeling? Yes. Okay. So when she feels herself gardening and the pleasure that it feels having this garden, that's all she needs to focus on? Yes. Very good. Another thing she's passionate about is her voice. She wants to be able to sing. Yes, and her plants will love it. Ah. So when she sings to her plants, how will that affect the plants? The energy, mm -hmm. the energy will, 
they will grow in that energy and the people that come and gather around mm -hmm. will also benefit. Good. So are you suggesting that she sing all the time? Yes. Okay. Good. What about when she's driving? She said she should sing more. She should sing more. What happens with her voice when she sings? She doubts herself. Mm -hmm. She feels like she's not good enough. Mm -hmm. Is that her ego interfering? Yeah. Okay. So what can she do to stop the ego from telling her that she's not good enough? Sing louder. Sing louder. So kind of mute out the, the ego by bell, just belching out a song. Is that it? Just radiate from within. Mm-hmm. And all her doubts will go away. Wonderful. So she needs to be genuinely singing from the heart. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. But we found that within her heart, there was a little box of darkness. Yes. Which first started when she fell off skating and all of those kids laughed at her. Why has she kept that little box in there so long? This little souvenir of a six-year-old. She's reminded mm -hmm. how it feels to mess up mm -hmm. and people laugh at her. Does she need this little souvenir from the six-year-old girl? No. No. Because you see, when we keep all of these little thoughts and reminders from when we're a little six-year-old girl. It's not the same as when we're a lot older, is it? No. So, what would you like to do with this little box in that heart? Because she created that box. She put all this little darkness in there. What would she like to transform all of that little box of darkness into? It's all of her desires. All of her desires. So instead of a little box, what can we change it into to make it really wonderful? If she opens the box and let everything radiate out like a rainbow. All right. So let's do that now. I'd like for you to go ahead and open up that box for her. And let's begin to see that rainbow of lights come out. These are all of her hopes. These are all of her dreams. These are all of her passions. The frequency of love. Feel all of that in that heart radiating now. Imagine Anybody standing in her presence as she radiates. And imagine that rainbow of lights coming out as she sings. What a beautiful frequency that is. And I want you to make that space even brighter. What else would you like to put in there? Lots of love. Lots of love. So I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to transmit that love into that box. Feel that love going into that box and begin filling it to the very, very top and have it begin to overflow. Feel that love just overflowing. That's it. Now let's put that into your heart and into your mind. Very good. How does that feel now? A lot, a lot better. So now when someone talks to her and criticizes her, what should she do? Remind herself that she is love. And that's right. And not only love, but a rainbow of love. Very good. So she says that she wants to be in this natural state of love for life. Awareness, compassion, and understanding of herself and others. 
what would be the best way for her to be always in that natural state? She's got a lot of competition from that ego. She actually is the majority of the time in that state. She is. Mm-hmm. She just doubts herself. Okay. So today, now that you've told her that, she can now understand that she's already doing this? Yes. Very good. Very good. So once she is doing her plants and she's growing and doing all this, how can she now consistently fulfill all of her dreams? What can she do to just expand that even more? Because I'm sure she wants a family in the future. She wants love in her future. She wants stability. She should focus on the feeling. Focus on the feeling. And she should start her garden as soon as possible. Okay. Because the energy would help her How will that energy help her? It relaxes her mm -hmm. and it brings her a lot of joy mm -hmm. which is what she wants to create She wants to create that joy So it's almost like if she needs to create that joy she has to feel the joy she feels the joy, mm -hmm. and she creates from that joy. Okay, good. What is the best way that she can use this joy to serve the world around her? She should talk to people more. Talk to people. So is she hiding out? Yes. Mm -hmm. What should she talk to them about? Her plants? Her spirituality? She should talk to people to get to know them. Mm -hmm. Learn about them. Mm -hmm. And what they desire. Mm -hmm. Because it motivates her. And it helps her grow herself. Mm -hmm. So by using their desires, she kind of grows herself? She wants to help people fulfill their desires. Mm -hmm. She should talk to people and share how she creates herself. Okay, okay. So she, you're, you're telling me that she is already a manifester. Yes. She's already doing it. There's nothing for her to believe in. She's already doing it. She is doing it. Okay. Is she holding herself back in any way? Yeah, she doubts herself a lot. She doubts herself. Where did these doubts come from? She's tried things and failed. Mm-hmm. And she holds it against herself. Ah. Well, she may not have remembered, because this was a long time ago, when she was very, very small, and it was time for her to learn to walk. And she pulled herself up, and her legs were very wobbly, because they didn't know. They didn't have enough strength to pull her up. And she fell down. But there was something inside of her that de she had determination. And she got up again, and she held on to the furniture. And as she did this, her muscles became stronger. And then she tried to move from one piece of the furniture to another. And she fell down and cried. 
And her mommy and daddy said, come on, you can do this. And she got up again. And she tried and she tried and she tried over and over again until one day, all of a sudden, she was walking. And then she was running. And then she was skating. And even when she was skating, she forgot that sometimes we fall down when we're learning, don't we? Yes. So and in life, isn't everything really about learning how to fall and get up again? Yes. Mm-hmm. So is there any, any reason why she should fa- fear falling down? Because her muscles aren't strong enough or she doesn't quite have the balance yet? No, she's actually doing really good. She's doing good. So can we remind her that sometimes we have to fall a lot of times in order to get those muscles built up and learn our balance? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then when we learn, we always challenge ourselves even more. And once again, we start to fall down until we learn that. She doesn't want to fall anymore. Mm. But that's part of learning, isn't it? Right. That's right. And you know, there's even scientists that that's their whole job is to find how many ways not to do something in order for them to discover how to do something. That's what a scientist is. Sometimes you have to go through thousands of times of just failing the experiment until you finally come up with something that works. So can we remind this scientist of life that sometimes you just have to try different ways to find your joy? Things aren't going to go the way she wants, Mm. but she will definitely get there. Very good. Very good. And who are the guides that are helping her? Her family. Her family. Mm Mm-hmm. Her family in this life and her family from... Past lives. Past lives. So all of these are her guides. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are there any of those guides that would like to step forward and give her some advice today? She never got to meet her uncle. Mm Mm-hmm. What advice does her uncle have to say? He says that she's a lot like her mother. Mm -hmm. And They're watching both of them. Mm -hmm. That he's here to see her succeed because he sees he sees how much strength she has Mm -hmm. and how she. How she influences and motivates the people that are around her. Mm-hmm. She's doing a good job. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Let's disconnect from Uncle. And you said that she had family from other lives. Can, yes. you, t- can you tell me about those lives? Which is the life that is influencing her the most from the past. She's from a royal family. She's from a royal family. 
Would it benefit her to see this family now? Yes. All right. So if you if if you will, I'm going to count from five back to one. When I get to number one, I'd like for you to go ahead and be in that place, in that family, in that past life. Taking a deep breath in now as we travel five through time and space. Four to that other time and that other place. Three, allow the images to come now. Two, almost there. And one, be there now. Look around you, where are you? She's in a palace. Mm -hmm. She's in a palace. And she's walking towards the garden. Mm -hmm. What does she look like in that life? She has long black hair that's wavy. Wavy hair. Mm -hmm. She wears a lot of crystals. A lot of crystals. Mm -hmm. Where is this place? Is this a different planet? Or is it on Earth? It's on Earth. Mm -hmm. She's on an island. Mm -hmm. What kind of palace is this? It's it's a place where a lot of people come. Mm -hmm. It has a place for people to live and buy food and clothes mm -hmm. and be entertained with music. Mm -hmm. But she, she doesn't like all the attention. Mm -hmm. mm. Is she a ruler in that place? She's supposed to be a guide for people. Mm -hmm. But she feels like she has too much responsibility. Mm -hmm. So what happens in that life? What does she do with these responsibilities? She doesn't take them. She doesn't take them. Mm -hmm. She... She leaves. Mm -hmm. But she... She goes to a river. And she, she drowns there. Mm -hmm. So how is that life affecting the lifetime now? She's still running away. Mm-hmm. Was she meant to take on that responsibility? She was. Mm -hmm. Is there a bit of guilt there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She feels shame. Yes. So how is that running in the background of her life? Does she feel that she's not going to be able to handle the responsibility in this lifetime again? Yeah, mm -hmm. she knows that. Mm -hmm. She can. She, she knows that she can. Mm -hmm. 
sometimes she doesn't want to. Mm -hmm. Now we know that we can't drown out our responsibilities. We can see that even if one in one lifetime we die in that body, we keep coming back until we take on the role that we were meant to take on. Can we please find out what it is that she desire, desired to do in this lifetime? What did she sign up to do? Can we take her back to that planning phase with her guides so that we understand why she came into this earth in this incarnation at this time? Take her back to the planning phase with her guides, with her counsel. Describe to me where this is. She's in a room similar to the one that was on the black planet. Mm -hmm. She's supposed to lead those around her to a life that's Healthier. And different from what the people around her are used to. Mm -hmm. So take them out of their comfort zone into something else? Yes. Okay. Different lifestyle? Mm -hmm. Has she been doing any of that already? She does, but she plays it safe. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't want to offend anyone. Mm -hmm. When you place it, play it safe, what does that do for you? It does nothing for her. Mm -hmm. She doesn't realize that She's going to help a lot more people if she puts herself out there. Mm -hmm. Now we know that all of those people who are our idols in one way or another, it could be singing, it could be a job, it could be anything. Those people that we appreciate so much have gone beyond have taken themselves out of their comfort zone. Did she come here to remain in this comfort zone? Or did she come here to make an impact? She came here to learn how to be comfortable in uncomfortable situations. Mm -hmm. Can you show her how she's already done that now? Yes. Mm -hmm. What's one of the main things that she's done to feel comfortable in an uncomfortable situation? She reminds herself that What's uncomfortable will be comfortable. Mm -hmm. And that she has to continue to move forward. Mm -hmm. And she can take baby steps, but... Mm -hmm. She has to keep moving. Okay. So we can almost use that, that saying that came out a long time ago before she was born. Keep on trucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she, can, she, can, can she see that she has already taken on a very uncomfortable situation? 
yes. slid right into it and every day proves to herself that she is comfortable in doing the uncomfortable. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how can she now use that, that thing that she came here to do, how can she do that to help others? If she shows that she's comfortable with being uncomfortable, mm -hmm. that inspire others to do the same. Okay. Like a role model. Yeah. Okay, good. Very good. Now I know that she came here from far away. Why is it, why was it necessary for her to come to this session today? She knows, but she needs to hear it from herself. Mm -hmm. What is it that she needs to hear right now? That she's capable mm -hmm. of doing everything that our heart desires. Mm -hmm. She just has to take the first step. And once she accomplishes something, she has to remember Does she need to remember? She has to remember that she can do it again. Mm -hmm. And that she will continue to accomplish things and have to accomplish more in order to fulfill her desire for growth. Mm -hmm. Did she come here to grow? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like her plants? Mm -hmm. Good, good. Now, is there any advice that you would like to give her about this lifetime of royalty affecting her she should forgive herself all right good are we ready to do that now yes all right so I'd like for you to just take a deep breath in and see yourself in that lifetime I want you to feel yourself in that body with all of those responsibilities And as you look around you, I want you to feel that heaviness within you, that guilt. And I want you now to ask yourself, can you forgive yourself for taking your life and running away from something that you had the gift to do? Can you forgive yourself? Mm -hmm. Forgiving doesn't mean that it wasn't done. Forgiving means you don't have to suffer with that any longer. Are you ready to forgive yourself? Yes. All right. I'm going to put my hand over your heart and I want you to give me all of that pain of having so much responsibility for all those who were depending on you. Knowing that all you needed to do was your best for that moment. And in this lifetime you now understand. You could only do your best that moment. Give me all of that that you feel inside, that weight of having to take care of all those other people. Well, you know that all you have to do is fill your greatest passion within yourself, and that will radiate out to the others. 
Give me all of that heaviness that you've been holding inside, all that darkness. And tell me when I have it all. Pull it all out. take it all and send it to the universe for healing and now in that heart that has so much space what would you like to fill it with love and light so let's put lots of love and light in there fill it until it's no longer able to even stay within you just feel it just bursting out a lot of love a lot of light and I'm going to tap that into your heart and into your mind very good and now I want you to feel that body and tell me how different does it feel? She doesn't feel as tense. Very good. Very good. Is there anything else that we need to ask or do today? Are we complete for today? There's an area around her neck mm -hmm. that's being blocked. All right. Let's find out what that is. I'm going to take my hand and that energy. And let's find out what that is. And let's bring that energy up and give it a voice. You there. What is it that you are that you're blocking her? Are you created by her? Or are you attached to her? Attached. Attached. Can you tell me, are you male or female energy? Male. Male. And what is your name, please? Stephen. Stephen. How old are you, Stephen? Twelve. Twelve. Stephen, what happened to your body? How did your body die? Look at the last day of your life, Stephen. What happened to you? I was choked to death. You were choked to death? Who choked you, Stephen? My father. Mm -hmm. And after you left that body, Stephen, what happened to you? Where did you go? I just floated around. Mm -hmm. And how did you find Levante? She was sad. Mm -hmm. How old was she? Help. Mm -hmm. What was she doing at that time that made her so sad? What made her so sad? She had just got into it with her mother. Mm -hmm. She was feeling guilty so how did that feeling guilty make her so wide open to allow you to connect with her I feel the same way mm -hmm. What have you been doing to her all this time? I don't want her to get hurt. Mm. Are you afraid that someone's going to choke her too? If she speaks out? Yes. Yes. But you see, Stephen, this is not the same situation. This is her life, not yours. Do you realize that, Stephen? Yeah. 
Yeah. Stephen, when you died, you should have gone directly home to the light. To that light that calls you back. Why didn't you go there? I couldn't find it. You couldn't find it. You were so confused, weren't you? Yeah. Would you like me to help you today to find that light? Yeah. Mm. But before you find that light, are you ready to ask for forgiveness of attaching to this little girl? Because she was only 12 when you attached to her. And you've been holding her back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Levante, can you... Forgive Stephen for not knowing any better. He was trying to protect you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I want you to, Levante, to look within your body and see where is Stephen attached? Where is he attached? He's on the right side of her neck where mm -hmm. her shoulder and her neck meets. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. So I want you to begin going into that part of that neck and shoulder. And I want you to find those cords that attach Stephen to you. It's almost, almost going to look like roots or cables attached. And I want you to just pull them out. And while I'm pulling it out, I'd like for Stephen... For you to look within your heart, Stephen, to find that little light within. And tell me when you find it. I found it. All right, so all you have to do now is to make that light bigger. Make it bigger, and as you do, you will find that you'll be able to very easily disconnect from Levante. Make that light bigger and bigger, brighter and brighter. How does that light feel? It's warm and bright. That's right. This is the light where you should have gone to. Are you ready now to go into that love, into that light that's waiting for you? Would you like some help? Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call your guide, Stephen. This is the guide that has never left you. And tell me when you find your guide. What does your guide tell you? It's okay. It's okay. So would you like to take your guide's hand? Yeah. Allow your guide to walk you into that light. And I'd like for you to pull from this body of Levante any connection that you have to her. Pull it all out and take it with you. And tell me when you get there to that light. Who's there waiting for you? My dad. Your dad. And I, I know that your dad hurt you in this life. What would your dad say now that he sees you again? He loves me. Mm. Can you forgive your dad? Give him a big hug? Yeah. Yeah, can you see how he... That was the human part of him and not the divine part of him that loves you? Yeah. Yeah, very good. Stephen, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And now, I'd like for you to look at that space where Stephen was. And I'm going to call Archangel Raphael to help me and just put that beautiful green healing light into your neck. And tell me how that feels. Feels nice. Very good. So let's do a scan of the body and make sure that there's nothing else that's keeping her from moving forward. How's that 
body look. It should be shining bright with that light from within her. Anything else keeping her from moving forward? She's good. Very good. Very good. So do you have any other advice to give her before we disconnect? It's okay to radiate from within outwards. She is accepted. She's accepted. I'm sure that's very important to her, isn't she? Yes. Good. Good. Are we complete now? Yes. Thank you so much. Welcome back. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel really relaxed. I cried. <laughs> <laughs> well, you knew you would. Yeah. How was it for you? It was nice flying on that butterfly. It was really pretty. Mm -hmm. Some of the things were weird. Yeah. I was like, why do I see this? Yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> but it, it, ga it, ga it gave you some understanding as to, how, to why you're afraid of doing new things. You know, on that, on that planet where you were there to grow all those plants and then all of a sudden the planet blows up and everything is destroyed. <laughs> and then as that sage, that woman that was there to help other people, you kind of ran away and said, I don't want this responsibility. You know, where that's really what you were meant to do. Yeah. Yeah. And you kind of felt guilty about kind of stopping the, the progress there. Mm-hmm. You see why you felt some fear? Mm-hmm. So you don't need to fe feel fear. All you were told, the main thing, is that you just have to follow your passion. Do what makes you happy. Brings you joy. Sing. Sing at the plant. Sing all the time. That's what brings up, raises the vibration, and that frequency just helps everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, huh? Yes. <laughs> How long do you think this was? How did it feel to you? I felt like 20 minutes. Mm, it's about an hour and 20 minutes. An hour? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did well. Hey. Is this something you want to share or you want to keep private? Do you feel it has any, it would make any impact on anybody else? I feel like the part about how to create, mm -hmm. that was important. It's important. Mm -hmm. Our journey was kind of cool. Yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> the weird character on the moon. Yeah, just waving. <laughs> it's like, okay. Different different shoes and... Yeah, very interesting. Interesting, huh? You can kind of use that as a, a metaphor if you wanted to, that people do want to go along on the journey with you. Yeah. Didn't think about it that mm -hmm. way. No matter how weird they are, yeah, come on, come along if this is something that you enjoy, you know? Yeah. It was your journey, but if they want to come with you, why not? And you were open to that. You realize that? You were open. Even though that person didn't seem to be anything close to you, but you allowed them to come with you on your journey. So imagine all those people who want to go on your journey and they don't seem to be like you at all. Yeah. Never thought about yeah. that. Yeah. We just want to go along with, for, for the ride with you. 
keep on trucking. <laughs> keep on trucking. Okay. <laughs> that was interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, that was So fun. tell everybody why you're here and how you felt about this session. I'm here for growth and understanding and clarity. Yeah. And it was very interesting, the session. It was very interesting. Did you expect it to be like this? No. I didn't <laughs> expect to uh, see the visuals that I saw either. Was it, was it vivid? Yeah. 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 It was like a daydream. Like a daydream. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And do you feel that you were hypnotized? I just feel like I was really relaxed. That's what it's all about. That's what it feels like. It feels like you're just relaxed. You're not, you're not sleeping. No. 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 Sleep. And so, um, do you feel like you got what you needed from it? Yeah. Yeah? A lot, clarity? Yeah, like, the questions that I had, it seems like <laughs> I need to focus my energy yes, focus. on what makes me happy and brings me joy. Follow your passion. Follow your joy. So, do you recommend that to other people out there? Of course. Yeah, and you're supposed to be doing a garden, not what you're doing now. Right. <laughs> Tell everybody where you're from and what you do. I'm from Atlanta, and I drive trucks. She's a truck driver. Yeah. <laughs> that was my escape. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And you're not that old either. I'm not. <laughs> so, this is this is someone who's already breaking boundaries you know I mean you're you're going out and and doing things that probably was very uncomfortable for you when you first started yeah, because you're nervous right nervous and now you're now it's like second nature that's it so <laughs> you came here to do to make uncomfortable things comfortable for people yeah do you feel like even being the role model of going out there and doing something like that is yeah. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> so you could be a truck driver too. <laughs> so um, it was a really nice session. It was very peaceful. It was it was nice. And uh, what'd you think about your throat? That was interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, I wasn't expecting to do it. Yeah. How's it feel? It feels better. Amazing. Of course. Long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pulling them out? Yeah. Yeah. That was interesting. Wow. So you recommend this for other people? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Definitely. do it. So if you would like a session with me, just go to my website, albawyman.com. You have to sign up for the newsletter about once a month. The newsletter goes out telling you where I'm going to be. It could be anywhere around the world. Click fast. Yeah. <laughs> Very fast. Like, and you, as soon as you see it, click. Click. <laughs> and you have to have your, your payment ready and everything ready to, to go in there because there's a lot of people trying to get the session at the same time that you do. And whoever gets the payment in first obviously gets a session. So yeah. keep trying. And if um, you don't see me at a session, please sign up to go to one of my events and hopefully yeah. We can hear you singing at one of my events. That'll be That'll cool. Be great. So um, I'm glad that you watched all the way to this end, and I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you. Bye. Give me a hug. Mm.